podcasting on a lovely spring day in the Mid-Delta, Farmville, USA. Welcome to the Ministry of Health podcast, where we train servant leaders, armor bearers, and anyone serving and leading in the Ministry of Health at the local church. After the show, visit our sponsor, theshieldshop.com, for books, courses, and other servant leader resources. Now here's our host, a widow, mother, 12-book Christian author, and media pastor, Irma Brown. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Irma, A Devotion to Serve, and this is episode number 41, and it comes from Varn, Serve Allowing the Holy Spirit Control. Albert Hubbard gave us a beautiful quote, we improve ourselves by victories over ourselves. There must be contest, and we must win. Amen. That's beautiful. Varn says, allow the Holy Spirit to rule. The Holy Spirit will help you develop the fruit of temperance or simply called self-control. Allowing the Holy Spirit to lead, you know, he is our leader. That's where that phrase comes from, being led by the Holy Spirit. Those who are led by the Holy Spirit are the sons of God, the, uh, the Bible says, and even dictate to what you should and should not do, will reign in areas you lack control in. As we allow the Holy Spirit Uh, to rule and reign, then he helps us reign in those areas where we don't have any control. We've lost control or some of us never even had it. (laughs) So don't allow yourself, your body, to do whatever it wants, whenever it wants. The proverbial writer describes a person lacking control like this. Losing self-control leaves you as helpless as a city Without a wall, the word of God says. As ministers, this is still barn talking, Irma and I believe in living a fasted lifestyle and being available to the Holy Spirit to pray and fast whenever he calls. But apart from that, as a regular family and a part of keeping control of our bodies and minds, we annually fast from seven to 21 days television um and or junk food desserts and heavy meats i know this concept is new to some and to those deeply spiritual i can hear you thinking he goes on to say that's not really a fast (laughs) but wait before you judge let me tell you what god did during one of those times of fasting one of our youngest Uh, And he names, and I won't name, (laughs) Uh, we left the decision to him. A few days afterwards, he was downstairs watching our big screen television when we heard a loud bang and smell smoke. Something had blown out in it, in the television. God had other plans. Without TV, he was forced to go on this uh, corporate fast that we were on. All of his young life, he had suffered from periodic migraines that would leave him moaning and seeking relief in a dark room. A few days into the fast, he said he sat up in bed and felt like something lifted off of him. He started reading the Bible for the first time as a young Christian and has had no migraines since. So if you don't do this already, Varn goes on to say, I encourage you to structure your own family time of keeping control of your body, yourself, your flesh, and fast. Believe me, during the technology age, it's not that easy (laughs) to just simply turn it off for a while, but the rewards are great in self-control, he says. And who knows, God may just do something wonderful during your time away from the television. We weren't expecting that miracle. He's no respecter of persons, you know. Maybe there's an area the Holy Spirit has been calling you to grow in self-control for your own good, and you just haven't been able to achieve it without this time of consecration. And he ends by saying, go ahead, allow the Holy Spirit to rule and grow self-control in your life. Amen. And I'll read the meditation moment. It says, now every athlete who goes into training conducts himself 
temperately and restricts himself in all things. They do it to win a wreath that will soon wither, but we do it to receive a crown of eternal blessedness that cannot wither. First Corinthians 9.25, Amplified Version. Well, that's it for today's devotion, and I'll see you next video. We are talking about serve controlling your body. We're on the journey. See you next time. Bye now. Hey, guys. Welcome back. It is episode 42 of A Devotion to Serve, and this one also comes from Vaughn. Serve controlling your body, and self-control must be a lifestyle, not an occasional event. And that quote is from the author unknown, uh, but it's a beautiful uh, principle that was stated there. Varn says, honor God with your body. How do we honor God with our body? We honor God with our body by using our gifts and talents to do the, do the good works of Christ. Before Christ, we used to use our bodies and gifts <laughs> in sinful ways to please ourselves, he says. Now in Christ, we are new creations commanded to put away our old ways that led to sin. The writer of 12, uh, Romans 12, 1 to 8 says, the way we honor God is to offer our bodies as a living sacrifice. You know, it speaks to that. Uh, I'm always saying that we are living epistles to God. And also we are living sacrifices. We lay our life down so that we the Christ life may flow out of us. And pretty soon, the more we do that, we live and have our being in Christ. And the more we lay it down, the more we gain the Christ life. And then he encourages us to honor God through good works. That's what we were created for. With the gift you have been given. If we are called to serve others, we should serve with God's strength. Uh, Martin says that in his devotional, but that's the word of God. If it's teaching, then study and teach well. And my friend, that's the essence of what I'm doing in these um, many teachings, M-I-N-I, -I, as tiny teachings. I am studying and teaching well to the best of my ability. And as I know you, you are doing with what you are called to do to the best of your ability in excellence if it's to encourage let him encourage if it's leadership let him lead govern faithfully amen whatever your gift or talent is honor god by using it with all your might Barn says doing his works remember our talent is god's gift to us and what we do with it is our gift to god hallelujah so live your life growing in Christ, he goes on to say. Choose to live a holy life. Be obedient children of God. Be thirsty for the word of God so that you can grow up in your salvation. The apostle Peter encourages us, don't let your lives be controlled by your desires as they used to be. Always live as God's holy people the way God's holy people should because God is the one who chose you and he is holy and he commands us in his word be ye holy as i am holy can he say that first peter as we make every effort to add to our faith by growing in christ and self-control um, we become effective and productive as servants of christ so he ends by saying i encourage you in your quest to develop self-control i know with all my heart as we exercise more and more self-control, God will be able to effectively use us as his instruments of grace to others. Continue to grow in self-control and you will become the strong witness that God has called you to be in your area of influence, he ends by saying. Whether it's your family, your ministry, your job, your team, your world. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. And the meditation moment of that scripture is like a boxer, I buffet my body, handle it roughly, discipline it, 
and subdue it, lest possibly after proclaiming to others the gospel and things pertaining to it, I myself should become unfit, not stand the test, and be unapproved and rejected as a counterfeit, God forbid. So 1 Corinthians 9.27 that was. And I pray you got something out of it uh, today. That ends it for me. And we are continuing on the self-control journey. Next video, Controlling Your Mouth. See you next video. Bye now. Thank you for listening. This has been the Ministry of Health podcast with Pastor Irma. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the show to help spread the gospel of the kingdom. Visit us at theparsonage.com. All links are in the show notes.